Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. We're doing a little Bible comparison. I've got the old red letter new long primer compared to the ultra thin. Now the ultra thin did a, a video a while back about what's the best Bible to carry to church and overall unless you just needed something to put in a purse for your lady or something this old Holman ultra thin that they did in the 80s and the 90s is just fantastic combining a wonderful size with a great print size, center column reference, the spacing is just tremendous, uh, good concordance, got good stuff in the back, wonderful home and maps. But I got this new long primer online on eBay real inexpensively. Now this is going to be, let's see, this is bonded leather, it's what I thought, but man look at that. I mean, yes. And, and I've done a review on this, but I mean, it's it's less than an inch thick. You know what I'm saying? It's just home and hit a home run with this thing. A major, huge home run. Can't describe to you how massive a home run they hit with this. But, you know, the long primer is not going to be too much thicker than that. And it's in Moroccan leather. Now, both these Bibles you're going to be able to find on eBay you can expect to pay about $20 to $30 for an ultra thin. Sometimes you can get them for 10 or 11. And they're not the new ultra thins. The old ones are a little better. And the new long primer, you can expect to pay anywhere, depending on the condition, between 30 and up to $100 plus dual ribbon markers. But let's just take a quick look on the inside. Now, I will say the center column reference in the Holman Ultra Thin is just how I like it. It's the perfect center column reference. You know, center column references are confusing to people. Most people don't even use them because they're so confusing. But you can see the difference between the new long primer and the ultra thin. And, you know, just the quality, of course, a, a new long primer is going to just be better quality. And this is actually, this is an Oxford. This is not an R.L. Allen. This is actually printed in Great Britain. And again, I've done a review on this new long primer, so you can go watch the review I did just on the new long primer. Go on the channel, subscribe, get a lot of good Holy Ghost filled conservative stuff. Big defenders of the Bible, but not just the Bible. Acts 238, Jesus' name, holiness, oneness of God. Uh, whatever the Bible teaches, we're going to be a defender. Amen. And uh, so it's going to have a dictionary of proper names in the back. It's going to have a subject index, which is different than a concordance. And then it's going to have the, the Oxford Bible maps, which I always like the Oxford Bible maps. And they're not always theologically accurate, like the nation of Israel going through water in the Exodus and that type thing. This happens to be a red letter. You can't get long primers in red letter. And I'm not sure you can get the new long primer anywhere right now. Evangelical Bible sells the other. But this is going to be red letter as well. The print's going to be much smaller, but I do like the red letter in this much better. Let's see if we can do a quick red letter comparison here. Appreciate Brother Mallory zooming in and out. Quick red letter comparison between the ultra thin on my left and the new long primer on the right and the uh, the uh, ultra thin is not going to have nearly the study matter in the uh, back as the new long primer. So the new long primer just is a fantastic Bible. Wonderful carry Bible. This had happens to be in Moroccan leather. You just can't get better. You just cannot get better. And uh, I know there's only one verse of red letter there, but maybe you could get a feel for it. But the red letter is much better. And you can see the concordance is really good. But it's not going to have a subject index. It's not going to have a proper name index. I'll show you their maps. I do like the Holman maps. And then we'll do a little concordance comparison. 
The Oxford Concordance is kind of similar to the Cambridge Concordance in that it kind of jumbles things up. And I used to not like it at all. I've kind of learned to, to really use them. Okay, so let's go to the Concordance. We'll just show you the difference of the Concordance. So, you know, the Holman Ultra Thin, great Bible, long primer, just going to be another step up. It's not going to be as thin, but it is going to, the print's going to be a little bigger. It's going to have more stuff in the back. So this real long primer, man, I'm going to say it's going to give it a real run for its money on the best carry Bible. So if you want a carry Bible that's better readable, it's got more information in it, find you one of these good old new long primers from Oxford. But just keep reading the Bible. That's the best thing. I'm, that was the best time for Bibles. I'm just thankful we've got so many Bibles and so many choices. It's awesome. We need to defend that freedom. Keep praying for it. God. In Jesus' name, God bless. Amen.